When the first HIV drug, AZT, was FDA approved in 1987, drug resistance to AZT emerged in practically all patients during the first year of treatment. Nowadays, HIV patients take combinations of multiple drugs and resistance evolves very rarely. What makes these combinations so good? When resistance does evolve despite the fact that combinations are good, how does it happen? When an HIV patient starts treatment, they generally have a genetically variable population of viruses. If the emergence of drug resistance is rare, a drug resistance mutation occurs in just one of these viruses. As the drug resistance mutation spreads through the population, so does the genetic background on which it arose. The result is that the population with drug resistance is much less variable than the population without drug resistance. This is known as a hard selective sweep because the variation is swept away almost completely. Now, imagine mutations are more common and we can see resistance mutations happen on multiple genetic backgrounds. If they all spread, then the resistant population may be nearly as diverse as the original population. This is called a soft selective sweep, because while some variation is removed, much remains. Because bad treatments are associated with common evolution of resistance, mutations must happen often, and we thus expect soft sweeps in those cases. For good treatments, resistance evolves rarely, so we might hypothesize that mutations that lead to resistance to complex combinations of drugs are much less likely to occur, and thus, if they do appear, we expect them to lead to hard sweeps. To test this hypothesis, we took data from 6,717 patients from the Stanford HIV Drug Resistance Database. These patients were treated between 1989 and 2013, and we roughly separated the patients into those treated with better combinations of drugs and those treated with worse combinations. We then separated those groups into those whose virus had no drug resistance mutations and those whose virus did have resistance mutations. We found that among the patients on bad treatments, there was no difference in genetic diversity between viral populations with and without drug resistance, as we expect if soft sweeps are occurring. But for the patients on good treatments, we found that the viral populations with drug resistance had much less genetic diversity, as expected if hard sweeps occur. This represents the main finding of our paper. Drug resistance seems to emerge via soft sweeps, implying that resistance mutations are common, in patients given bad treatments, and via hard sweeps in patients given good treatments, implying that resistance mutations are rare. Why do resistance mutations seem to occur so rarely for modern drug combinations? One possibility is that the virus becomes resistant to all drugs present in the cocktail only when it acquires multiple mutations at once, and getting all mutations at once is unlikely. Alternatively, it may be simply because the virus population becomes small if the treatment works well, and in a small population, fewer mutations occur. Finally, you may wonder if this is going to help HIV patients. Well, no, and the reason is that HIV treatments are already extremely good at preventing the evolution of resistance. However, drug resistance is a huge problem in many other diseases, including malaria, tuberculosis, and cancer. We hope that lessons from HIV will help us halt evolution of resistance in those cases as well. Have a look at our paper, now out in eLife.